check out these really cool pear designs that I've created by using some simple paints and thinking about color combinations. So as we get started today, I'd like to go ahead and get a piece of paper and start out with two circles. I draw them very lightly so that when I draw around the two circles, it looks more like a pear shape. That's a basic way of how I got started drawing out my pear. I also thought about adding on a leaf and a stem. Okay, now that I've drawn it light and I've got it right, let's go ahead and start talking about the colors that you're going to apply to make your pear. I started out thinking about complementary colors, colors that are opposite sides of the color wheel. Yellow and purple, orange and blue, red and green. And then I started thinking about what colors that I could use that would be analogous. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Oranges and yellows and greens as well as another color combination like reds, purples, and blues. Colors that are next to each other are analogous. Now let's talk about how I used those color thoughts as I began painting my pair. Let's take a look at the colors that are on here right now. Yellow and purple. Those are my basic complementary colors. My analogous colors are right next to it, just a little bit smaller. I'm going to grab a flat paintbrush to get started on my painting. So thinking about complementary colors, I started painting out my pear yellow. You don't have to have a yellow pear if you don't want to. If you wanted a green pear with a red background, that's our complementary color scheme. So let's go ahead and color out my pear with some of this yellow paint. Now after, after I've painted it yellow, you'll notice that I'll take my flat brush and start giving it a little bit more form by adding in one of those analogous colors. It's just creating a little bit more, instead of a flat, solid, yellow color, it's giving it some more dimension by adding some color to it. If your paint is really thick, feel free to add some water to it to make it a little bit more translucent and that it starts to blend better. You'll also notice that I'm adding in some white highlights so that the white looks like it's giving it more form as well. Now that I've washed out my brush and dried out my brush, you'll notice that I added just a little bit of purple, just the tip of my brush. And again, feel free to add water to it. This is creating that shadow. The opposite sides of the color wheel, complementary, really give it that form-like look. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the way this looks already. I love adding in some of those complementary colors together. Again, you'll notice I added a little bit of purple and a little bit of white to the top of my stem. I'm going to add a little bit of green because I want it to be more of a green-like stem. I love the way that I'm using a flat paintbrush so that the colors start to mix and I'm applying paint in a rapid manner and it just seems to flow onto the paper really nicely with great coverage. There, I like the way this looks so far. Let's go into the background a little bit. When I started thinking about my background, remember the beginning when I started talking about complementary colors, yellow and purple, opposite sides of the color wheel? This big brush allows me to add that painterly look. The blue, is the analogous color to purple. It's the color that is right by it on the color wheel. Again, I'm just gonna add on some paints relatively quickly and with a painterly brush stroke. I'm not trying to blend in for a smooth look, but instead I love the way that it gives that painterly look by adding on some colors quickly with some thick brush, stra brush strokes. I'm not trying to smooth anything out right now. I'm just a trying to apply the paint with quick brush strokes so that you can see my paintbrush and every stroke and just give it that painterly feel, that thick paint that's been placed onto the page and it just looks such um, interesting textures into my background. Again, just adding on some colors but not making it smooth. 
you'll notice the white that I'm adding on for that are areas of highlight, the areas that make that pear look three-dimensional. White does a really nice job blending in and mixing those together. Again, with my thick brush stroke, I'm not mixing it all together, but instead just applying the paint in a thick, quick brush strokes because I wanted to give it that painterly texture into my background. It just becomes visually more interesting instead of making it all so smooth. If it seems a little too light, add a little bit more paint. Maybe even some green would be nice in my background. Remember my analogous colors? Purple, blue, and green, they're all right next to each other. Now, I also like to add a little bit of texture by taking my paper towel and dabbing it into the paint while it's still wet. Again, texture makes it such visually interesting to look at rather than such a smooth surface. I looked at my pear for a second and then I decided to add just a little bit more purple onto the pear for some shadow. You might be able to see the difference between figure one and figure two. Can you see a little bit more purple into the paint? I think it turned out really great and I hope you had fun too. Here's some other color combinations that you could try as well. I hope you have fun making your project. Thanks for watching. I know it was a lot of fun for me.